That camera. So we are clean. Hi everyone, welcome to another exciting educational session. I hope you all are ready to learn a lot more about what's going on with the South Coast sewage issue and to have persons who are in the know to share with us what's really going on and what's really happening as opposed to all of the rumors that we've been hearing going around. We wanted to try to see if we can get to the root cause of the issue, what is happening with the, what's the status of the situation right now, what solutions can be offered that have been discussed, what we're hearing from the general public in terms of their feelings for what's happening, and how we can move forward to help fellow Barbadians to get some kind of relief. And if there's anyone who is on the thread who thinks that they can offer anything, any assistance, feel free to have it uploaded here as well too. So you know, as usual, we'll give everybody a few minutes to share before we go into our introductions. And please share and post the video to all of your groups and to your pages. So mm. everyone is getting a chance to do their sharing. Are you sharing away? I'm going to wait until we get a little bit oh. more of okay. What's really going on in this room? You can buy every chance to log on and yes. uh oh we can be sure it around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're actually like Yeah, yeah, no problem. <coughs> Very simple setup. Okay, we're just giving um just for those who just tuned in, we're just giving um people some folk folks some time to share. And um, as we as soon as we get to a certain number, we'll we'll start in the evening. You can see Sh you can see Shane Law is watching. Thank you, Shane. <laughs> New president of the Barbados Economic Society. Yes, congrats. congrats. Okay. I was I was wondering just today who who's the new president. Congrats, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see who is sharing, who's logging in, the number. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's going up steadily. Te technology is really. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're on TV. I don't know how many people are watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure, maybe a couple of people. Yeah, as I know. It's very simple to do, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You don't need a budget. <laughs> you don't need a budget. <laughs> yeah. I don't know much. <laughs> Because in the studio, you've got the lights, and the camera, yeah. and the cameraman, and everybody. You might be a little bit worried. <laughs> <laughs> At least they get rid of crickets. I haven't mm. quite worked out how to get rid of crickets. Oh, yeah. Crickets? Yeah. <laughs> you go away from the ambulance passing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine's all good. What do you crickets sound say? Yeah, yeah. 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 you hear them very well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speaking of song, how is um, Shane and Bob, Bob White who are watching? How is he song? Is he song okay? Shane, if you can, um... They can talk, eh? yeah. oh. They comment on, well, yes. Yes. Okay. 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 The comment with text or verbally? Text. Okay. Shane Drix is watching. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bert, how is he sung? Okay. Shane Drix is watching. Mm -hmm. Shane Drix is watching. Yeah. Shane Drix is watching. Okay, so we'll start with the introductions. We have with us and on my left, Andrew Hutchinson. He is a professional engineer, and I'll let him share a bit more about himself as we go into the program. To my further left, no stranger to the show and no stranger to Barbados, we have Mr. Brass Tats himself, Corey <laughs> Lane. <laughs> and as usual, Dwayne Burke, without whom we will not be able to get half of these things done. Thank you so much again for all of the help that you consistently give to making sure that this happens. Barney, you crickets are loud and clear tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we would um, induce um, Andrew Hutchinson. Um, what, what we, the intent tonight is really to give an idea of what the current system is that we have now as a sewage system. Um, Andrew will also go into the challenges that 
that is currently in place and he will also go into a little bit of, of, of the history of the whole sewer system. Um, I'm hoping that you all will find it as interesting as, as we have and also too we, we tend, as, as usual, we tend to cut out all the, um, all the extra, extra curriculum and we stick just to the facts. So without further ado, um, Andrew, maybe you could just give a little bit about who you are and then okay. we can get straight into it. Okay, I'm a civil engineer, graduate 71 from UE. I did postgraduate work, um, a master's in sanitary slash environmental engineering. Um, I did those studies in, in Holland way back in 1973-74. And I've been practicing since then in Barbados and across the Caribbean. Um, I've been practicing engineering now for 46 years, so I've been around a while. You can tell by the gray hair how long I've been around. <laughs> um, I practice all through the Caribbean, Barbados, all through the islands. We have projects. Um, I actually am a full-time employee. I'm a senior principal with Stantec. Stantec is a pretty large North American consultancy head office in Edmonton. Um, 24,000 in staff and you know, 450 offices scattered all over the place. And so we are part of the Stan I'm part of the Stantec group, so to speak. So, um, what I said to Duane tonight, I thought we could discuss briefly the, the system that's there. All right? Um, Barbados fought for many years to get us through a system on the south coast because it's felt very strongly that sewage going into the sea, into the marine environment along the coast, is impacting our marine life, impacting our reefs, etc. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, over the longer time, that's detrimental to the island because if you lose your reefs, right? The reefs cause the waves to break down and provide security for the middle. So, because of um, the feeling that we had to protect the reefs, mm -hmm. a sewer system was vital to collect the sewer to stop it going into the marine environment. Mm -hmm. So, the system was built. Um, there's about eight kilometers along the coast, coastal strip. Okay. Uh, there's a, uh, what is called a treatment plant at William Hall. So all the sewage collected in pipes and flows by gravity to get to the plant at William Hall. Um, at William Hall, it, there, there's just what we call um, advanced preliminary treatment. Just want to be clear, when he's referring to Graham Hall, but there's a, a misnomer between what is actually, because people keep um, mixing up Graham Hall Swamp and Graham Hall, but there's a treatment facility in Graham Hall. On the edge of the swamp, yeah, right. on the eastern edge of the swamp, just below the, um, <coughs> the Minister of Agriculture building, just right. down on the bottom. Right. So, Near the boat. Hmm? Near how far from the on the boat? Talk about on the boat. Yeah, yeah, it's just about a kilometer, or half a kilometer. West of the road. Okay. okay. So the treatment so to, to get a spatial, there's a treatment facility by the close to the top rock around the boat. Yeah. Um, bordering what they would call the Graham Hall area. Yeah. Right. right. Is it advanced primary treatment? Advanced preliminary treatment. Mm -hmm. The the language we the terminology we use in engineering, primary treatment is by our screens to take out screenings. Pre sorry, preliminary treatment. Primary treatment is sedimentation to settle out solids. Okay. And then secondary treatment is activated sludge where you're blowing air into it with bugs to eat it. To eat the organic matter. Okay. All right? By natural. And, and then, the, yeah, by natural processes. And then there's tertiary treatment where you go to the ultimate level beyond secondary. So there's preliminary, primary, secondary, tertiary. And what do we have? What we have is advanced preliminary. In other words, there's more than bar screens. We have we have um, sieves, screens. Mm -hmm. And you take the sewage up and pass it through these screens, it takes up everything bigger than two millimeters. Okay. Alright? So that's the picture you see with all the rags and everything. No, the picture you saw was, was, was something different. That was a pump that they were using. 
Oh, the cloud. A temporary thing, and you know, there was no screens there, so the pump captured everything. Right. Right. But at the plant, everything goes into a cell, a big cell. Mm -hmm. And then there are two Archimedean screw pumps. They're like a big cork screw. Okay. That works inside of a, a semicircular. And those screw pumps take the sewage and the solids up where it then goes through screens. Mm -hmm. The screenings are captured and put into bags right. and sent to the landfill. Okay. So you would take out gravel, right. condoms. So it's only the very smallest material yeah. that you get through. So you, you've given us a list of what, what they have found over the years. Yeah. yeah. So you said it's condoms. Fetuses. Fetuses. Yeah, yeah, uh, the paper there are some persons that are very concerned about that as well. About what? About the fact that fetuses, mm -hmm. it was the disposal process that it happens to end up in the, in the catchment. Well, they just flushed it down. You know, a very small fetus is very flexible and I suppose it's possible to flush it down the toilet. That is very, very possible. It's, it's not only here, it happens in most sewer systems. So any, anything that we have coming through is, is common in any sewer system in the world, any municipal sewer system in the world? Yeah, there are regulations at what you should and what you should not put into the sewer, but the extent to which it's practical or possible to police that in infinite terms mm -hmm. is, you know, there's a limitation. Right. And, and everybody puts up, says what you shouldn't put in there, but people, I mean, municipal sewer systems around the world mm -hmm. expect to get deleterious matter. That, that is part of the course. But then the, the, also the, the conflict is that you would have one ministry <coughs> being the where the water authority comes up and saying, you know, don't put these things in. And then you have a challenge where you have the Ministry of the Environment where people over the years have been trying to get them to use the three R's to implement the three R program, which is reduce, recycle and reuse. Mm -hmm. So if so if you put that in, that's another um, pro for putting that mechanism in place that the Future Center Trust has been trying for years to oh, do. Yeah. So if we could get the Ministry of the Environment on board, that would help solve some of the sewer system because it'd be more education because we can now say to people that if you start throwing away all these things and instead of you know doing it responsibly you can actually help save the, the environment plus the cost in, in these type of processes. Would that be accurate? Sure, I'm, 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 that's perfectly, uh, your thoughts are perfectly accurate and legitimate. Persons tend not but to think it's about, it's about education, situation. it's about enforcement, it's about compelling people to yeah. comply. Right. And very often that process is not 100%. <laughs> so if we get back to now, so you have the screening process you now. Mm -hmm. So if the screens are working, yeah. then when we saw that picture in the paper with it pulling out, if the screens were working, when that pump went down after the treatment facility, we should not have been seeing those things in the system. Would that be correct? Yeah, I, I think, subject correction, I think the pump that I saw was the pump they were using in the bypass. They had to create a temporary bypass. So to create a, you know, just put a pump in. Mm -hmm. So the, the raw sewage with everything floating in it would have gone to those pumps. But without had the benefit of screening prior to. To going to the cram hall. Right. Okay. So that's why you saw it there in a very amplified manner. Okay. So maybe we'll jump in these scenarios. Yeah, you are. Yeah. yeah. So all the sewage goes to Graham Hall, goes into a big sump, and there are these screw lift, like big car screw, described as huge car screw mm -hmm. pumps. And they were chosen because they're very reliable, very robust, very dependable, mm -hmm. and they're commonly used in sewage plants. Okay. And they bring the liquid and the solids up, we're going through the screens, screens are bagged, sent to the landfill, and then the liquid that's left, which has nothing bigger than two millimeter, mm -hmm. um, goes to another chamber where it's pumped into the pipe that goes along Highway 7, out to the outfall of the hilltop. So there's an outfall off the Hilton. Right. A sewage outfall off the Hilton. So that's it. You, you have a collection system, mm -hmm. which sends it to Graham Hall. Graham Hall is supposed to screen it. And then the, the liquid sewage is still sewage. Mm -hmm. There's no biological treatment. So let's get that clear. <laughs> People interpret the word treatment to mean it's clean though. Everything is, yeah. This would be the secondary or tertiary treatment. Right, but in our, in our, 
you can all define what I mean by treatment. In, mm -hmm. our, in our language, engineering language, there are several forms of treatment. Yeah. So you, what we have is the very basic, advanced, preliminary treatment. Is that where you get confusing because you're saying yeah. basic advanced? Yeah, advanced, preliminary. <laughs> well, yeah, no, 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 ordinary bar screens mm. is preliminary treatment. Mm. But because we have bar we have bigger sit screens and bagging and all that, that's more an advanced process of, of preliminary treatment, right? Mm. That's what we got. So that, that's where it goes out in the outfall off the Hilton. The, the outfall is about, from memory, about 1.3 kilometers in length. It's out in good deep water. Um, I think it's 125, 140 feet deep out there. And all the marine studies had indicated that that was a very good location for an outfall. Could mix okay. it, mm. dilution, the plume goes to the west with the currents, you know. And that's why it was sighted different. Okay, so the research was done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but that is why Barbados, or the government at the time, chose to go with screenings and an outfall. Mm -hmm. It's done, you know, I know I saw some press reports where people were horrified that they thought that we were putting suit in the sea. But it, it has to do with economics, right. resources, costs. Best thing that you can afford for. Right, and yeah. every designer's first option is to look for the least cost option. Mm -hmm. So if we found a very good outfall disposal <laughs> site, there's really no technical reason or environmental reason why we could not, you know, utilize that point by taking the sewage, screening it, mm -hmm. and dispose of it there. It's good mixing, good dispersion, the plume goes to the west, etc. All right? Now, um, Barbados is a signatory to the Carcaminic Convention. It's signed it somewhere around 85. And the Carcaminic Convention sets disposal standards. Okay. I, mean, I was on the technical committee of experts that met in St. Lucia and set the standards. And we, we set two standards for disposal in sensitive water. Mm -hmm. That is near shore where you have sea grasses and you know corals and so on. Mm -hmm. Or for disposal in non-sensitive waters mm -hmm. further offshore. Right? So the old fall was designed with that in mind um, and was constructed mm -hmm. and, and, it has, and it works well, mm -hmm. but it requires maintenance. Right. <laughs> <laughs> requires okay. that. So that's, that's the system, all right? Um, you can ask questions anytime, you know, mm -hmm. I don't mind that interruption asking mm -hmm. questions. So what, what, what has gone wrong with the system? There are two, there are two, well, let me, let me say first of all, I think why this was all Unfortunate mm -hmm. is because it could have been foreseen. In 2006, mm -hmm. the pipe that pumps the sewage from Graham Hall all the way down Highway 7 out to the Hilton, mm -hmm. that pipe broke in the right. shaft there by the road. He had. Right. In 2006? 2006. Yeah. 2006. So you mean this problem, that problem that's there now that has been happening from 2006? No, <coughs> they fixed it. Okay. The pipe, what I'm saying, the, an incident occurred right. in 2006 when the, the pipe where it went, goes through the shaft, mm -hmm. there was a coupling that broke. Right. They diverted all the sewage, because they have to get a fix it, right? Mm -hmm. So they diverted the sewage flow, all of 2.5 million gallons a day, into Graham Hall Swamp. Itself, not the Graham Hall facility, Graham Hall Swamp. Right, into the swamp. Right. In 2006. Six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For three days. Right. So that they could pump it out, fix it. Right. Back and in service. Back right. to the hill. Right, back to the hill. Mm -hmm. So the point, my point was that was a teaching moment. Right. It could happen again. Right. And I, was a, I, I personally was at great pains. So in 2006, it fits it in three days? Yes. Because it was accessible. Right. Mm -hmm. Where the coupling broke was, was in a shaft, correct. you could get down. So you could get to it easily. Right. Mm -hmm. So my point was, what? Well, there was no plan B. Right. And I raised that question very forcibly in 2006. It's a teaching moment we should learn from it. So who was aware? And the point was that we, we should have constructed, and I suggested, 
Everybody agreed. It was put on your wish list. So was everybody who were the person. No, I met with the people at the Royal Authority, the okay. engineers, the general mm -hmm. managers, the then general manager at the time. The government and, at the time and, as well. And, yeah, and it was canvas and, and it was agreed, okay, we've got to have a plan B, it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And it was put on your wish list. If you go to the IADB website mm -hmm. for projects, you see it listed there. Yeah. We modeled for all. And that was 10 years ago. Right. But it, it appears as though it was not prioritized. And now, lo and behold, 10 years later, it's broken again. Right. So my point is, it's unfortunate from that point of view, because it could have been, you know, if we had a plan B in place, mm -hmm. and, and why we need a plan B, you cannot fix the pipe going to the hills in if it has sewage in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's simple, right? Yeah. So you have to have an alternative where you can divert it. Mm -hmm. And you just said something, it is broken again. What right. exactly is broken again? Well. The, from the press reports, and I've been reading the media reports and so forth, the, the, the pipe taking the sewage to the Hilton mm -hmm. is in some form or fashion ruptured. And it's not totally ruptured, it appears, mm -hmm. but it has a break in it, right? Mm -hmm. And also the sewer, which is taking the sewage back to Green Hall, mm -hmm. right next to it, appears to be broken, damaged, right? So it's not functioning. Right. And in this case, it's not accessible because it's not in a shop. Right, right. <laughs> the, the sewer system along the coast was built uh, with a series of shafts, mm -hmm. vertical shafts, right. connected with a tunnel. Right. The tunnel is about four feet in diameter, just a little bigger than four feet in diameter. In that tunnel, there are two pipes. There's a 20-inch pipe, which is taking the sewage from Green Hall to the Hilton. Right. And next to it, there's another pipe which is taking the sewage and collected along the street to Great Hall. You had to stop it, so it's like... Yeah. Right, yeah. Oh. right. So, where this displacement rupture has taken place is between two shafts. Mm -hmm. And at the depth of the shaft, mm -hmm. it is not, you just can't take a bath home or dig a hole and fix it. <laughs> <laughs> because you're below sea level, you're going to cave in, you got all kinds of, right? Mm -hmm. So it is, and that is a challenge, really. Mm -hmm. um, they've been using some CCTV, I think they said on the radio they will use CCTV. There's CCTV technology, you can put a scope down and you can see Just everything. See what's going on. Play it back. Now, I don't think, listen to the press reports, uh, I don't think they've had total success with that. Mm -hmm. um, because they seem to be concerned about. Um, not having sewage in the pipe, so they put right. the scope in. Right. There's something that concerns me though, and you, you continue to refer to mm -hmm. press reports, mm -hmm. which indicates to me that you're not involved in the process. Of no, I'm not involved in the process. I know so, of the project, I know mm -hmm. of, of, the, of the construction of the project, I know the history of the project, mm -hmm. and I'm an engineer. So I can, from those... So logic would tell me you should be involved in the, 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 well, the project already fixed. It, it's not logical, it's not logical. <laughs> not That's not logical. Not in my way, is that? <laughs> but, um, but that is concerning. I have, yeah. I have reached out to the general manager um, last week, mm -hmm. chatting on the phone, and he was promised to invite me to have a one on one chat with him, and I'm uh, waiting on his call. What? Are, are you, um, are you any, anything on the board of the Barmouth Professional Engineering Society? No, no, no. I'm a past president. Right. For many years, and, well, but well, that, uh, are you aware of, of the engineering society in Barbies ever being contacted about this problem? No, no, I, I, I'm not aware. I'm not aware. Of it. You mean whether they were invited to join the discussion? And, uh, yeah. No, I'm not aware. I, I, they may have, but I'm not aware. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, so my understanding is it was the, the original project was designed and built by uh, a Barbadian doctor. No, 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 no. The, the, the consultants was a Canadian firm called We Crowther. <coughs> no, but I meant is the uh, engineer that was involved. No, he was, he did, he referred to Dr. Seeley. Yeah. Dr. Seeley was the, uh, a member of the staff at the um, ministry. Right. And the ministry um, was charged with implementing the project. And he was the project manager of the project. Mm -hmm. Not for its entirety. Mm -hmm. He left the project before it was completed, but he was for uh, initially there when the building would follow when the building plan, and so he was there. But during the extended time it took to build the source, he had um, he left the project and moved on to other things. But wouldn't it not have been prudent? I'm just thinking 
outside not knowing but not be prudent to contact someone like him who was very actively involved in the construction yeah. to be involved in the fix yeah uh, and uh, when you have a situation like this um, obviously every bit of information is helpful okay. we have a question from the audience Deborah Hughes she is asking since you said the CCTV camera did not work no I from what I understood in the press the, the, there's how are they sure that it was a rupture as opposed to a blockage or some other impediment that would have caused the issue going on? Well, that's what the CCTV will confirm. Ah, so it's unconfirmed. There's something there. The the, the, I, I suspect mm -hmm. it's, it's reasonable to believe that there's some differential settlement in the tunnel. Mm -hmm. The pipes are in the tunnel. Right. Okay? But if there's settlement in the soil or something and makes you know that mm -hmm. at some point right. it would affect the pipes, the both pipes mm -hmm. to the extent that it might might have cracked them, you get sewage coming out or it might have caused a blockage and the, the sewer going down and the sewer taking the sewage to Graham Hall. Alright? So now we've come to this point is say Barbados has been doing a lot of videos on this and they've been cataloging persons, stories mm -hmm and showing that it's, well, well, it's over 100 days now that persons have been enduring this, which is quite different to the three days in 2006. Yes, the problem is not exactly the same, it's more difficult. Mm -hmm. However, do we have a workable solution to be able to get persons out of the misery they're currently experiencing? Mm -hmm. And what are the difficulties in terms of implementing such a plan? Because at the end of the day, we understand it will be difficult, but if it's well, not starting, you're prolonging yeah. the agony. Yeah. So, in a situation like this, you have to consider immediate short-term solutions, mm -hmm. medium-term, long-term solutions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What the Water Authority has been doing so far is to institute what they call mitigation measures. Mm -hmm. Because a mitigation measures would endeavor to stop the sewage bubbling up through the manhole, right? right? Mm -hmm. And that's that's your first priority, get rid of the optics and, and, and so forth, which have, they've done, well, it appears they've done, but I understand it we occur again. Yeah, this evening is yeah. Right. Yeah. And, 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 and that's, so that, that's the first challenge, and what they've been trying to do, if there's a tunnel here, and, sorry, a shaft here and a tunnel, and it's broken here, mm -hmm. they're trying to bypass it. Mm -hmm. right. Institution pumps and pump it over in this one and let it keep going. <laughs> and then pump it here and let it keep going to Graham Hall. Mm -hmm. So that's what they're trying to do. And that's logical. That's logical to, to mitigate the bubble. But what what is what really causes the bubbling? There are at least three sewage pump stations. In the onshore systems, if you have a low area like there's one down opposite the yacht club mm -hmm. right which collects all the sewers below the garrison hill right yacht club and all those properties mm -hmm. there yeah and then it pumps it over the garrison hill and dumps it in the sewer so it will flow by gravity mm -hmm. all right right so mm -hmm. that and there, there there's another one in the palm beach area mm -hmm. which is low mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right so you have a lift station there that collects and shh, pumps it so if the sewer that's flowing by gravity to Graham Hall is blocked. Right. And you are then pumping sewage from these pump stations under pressure mm -hmm. into it. Mm -hmm. You can put up a pressure. Correct. Yeah. Correct. 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 So that's what you see coming through the manholes. Mm -hmm. the, the, the bubbling is not the fellow flushing toilet. The blood, the bubbling is coming from the, the pump. The pumps. Mm -hmm. Pumping it there and it can't back flow, it can't back flow on it, prevent it. So the pump stations that are pumping into the system, which creates pressure. And it will overflow at the lowest points, which is there by Peron Plaza, the bottom of the Rendezvous. It's a low so point. That's why it's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a low point. So anything fill up, <laughs> it overflows. The lowest point, it overflows yeah. first. Yeah. You just mentioned there is a back flush preventer. Yeah. But my understanding is out in the area there by Chicken Barn and those areas, they were affected actually in their toilets as well, backing up. That's my understanding, as you said mm -hmm. from press reports. But actually, speaking to people like about this one authority, so what would be the issue to cause that? This is where the actual sewage is not going in the road, it's actually coming up in people's toilets. Well, well, no, once the, the sewer in the street is full, mm -hmm. you can have a problem in the flush, especially at the lowest part of the sewer system. The sewer system 
pipe is lit on the gradient, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the highest part and this is the lowest part. So if your house is near the lower oh, part, once oh. you pipe full and you flash, it's not going to go. Oh, so that, that's fairly correct. standard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the bubbling is coming because of the pump stations from these lower gas materials. Pump it up, dump it into the sewer. It would normally flow by gravity and keep going on. Now, a gravity sewer is designed so that the sewage keeps moving. Right. As you have sewage in a sewer pipe with gravity, as you have the sewage stopping, all the solids settle out. And that in itself will create a blockage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all of that is back in yeah, the Yeah, but a, a perfectly working sewer system is meant to keep flowing, solids, mm -hmm. whatever, and keep going, don't yeah. stop. Mm -hmm. But as you have a blockage, and it has a chance to stop and settle. Mm -hmm. All these solid set look, and then it can get a bucket, a yeah. bigger block. Yeah. That's correct. That's so this is part of the problem, because if there's problem. a restriction, because the, either the pipe is partly broken or something there, it creates an effective blockage and it will get pretty far. So that, that is, that is the, uh, the, that's the challenge. Mm -hmm. And the bigger challenge is that you, you, you cannot take your back hole and just dig a trench, get, get the pipe and fix it. Mm -hmm. the depth of Below water table, etc., etc. So you may contaminate your water table. I know, I know, I'm not worried about contaminating your water table there. Yeah, it will cave in. Once you dig in that area, the sand mm -hmm. and things, this cave in. And it might very well be, I don't know where the exact block it is, but it might be on the part of Highway 7. So you have to block the road. And those highways, the highways have lots of services below on the ground, electric, telephone. Water pipes, they have through all of that. Yes. All the things in your road, if you want to dig it up, put a, and, and to stop it caving in, you would normally have to build a coffer dam, dry okay. sheet piles, mm -hmm. so you can excavate and pump, excavate and pump the holy water down where you get down. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, yes. it's a major undertaking. It's not, it's not impossible, technically, but it's a major. But it's, so it's not a quick fix. No, it's not. No, no, no. But it hasn't been started. <laughs> no, well, what water has been doing so far, understandably, and not, I mean, I think that. No, no, tried your best to mitigate the, the first. Yeah, because they would have list six things that they would have done mm -hmm. that they're doing, which is the, the additional pumps. Yes. The buy hot pass. The buy pass. Taking some people off of the system. Off the system. I can't remember the other. But they're all <laughs> mitigation measures right, right. to reduce the flow. The other thing was to mm -hmm. take the, 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 the pump station where the yacht club and connect it to the bridge dump system. Right, that was another so thing. So that way rather go that way reduce the volume. So there are mitigation measures mm -hmm. to, to get rid of the optics mm -hmm. and the road, right? right? Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Uh, I, that's a short-term must-do measure. The, the, the other step to get the fix, obviously, are far more challenging. And, um, in my view, um, and I made the same point in 2006 when we had the break, we ought to have constructed a bypass by the Green Hall Sioux State. All right, and I've done a quick design on it. You need about an 18 inch pipe, has to go 700 meters out, buried across the beach, across the reef, into the 25. There's a deep area behind there, 20 fathoms of water. And you, so you then have a plan B that you can dispose of the sewage there mm -hmm. while you then go and fix the pipe. You cannot fix the pipe if it's full of sewage. Mm -hmm. How expensive would that solution be? I estimated, based on some of the files we've done, it's about six million dollars. Mm -hmm. So six million would can mediate this problem? No, that's only to bypass. Mm -hmm. Six million to build the bypass to divert it. Yeah, no, I mean, we have not addressed yet how to fix the pipe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know the plan B. Plan B, yeah, six million. It will take. Maybe four months, three to four months, depending how soon you get the pipe, the pipe has to be imported. Mm -hmm. All right? So when you said that it was on the IADB project schedule, schedule, what was exactly on that project schedule? To build a, an auxiliary old fall at Great Hall. This is the oh, this is recommendation. recommendation. Right. Yeah, yeah, it was talked about. It, rec it recognized that it's a good thing to do. It gives right. you an option, a plan B. So the funding was found for that? They, they approved the project? I, I don't know. No, I, I can't say that. I don't well, you said earlier, it seems like it wasn't prioritized. Yeah, there are lots of projects on the list. Right <laughs> it, it, it may not have been prioritized, and, and, and so it was not done, unfortunately. And, but I, to me, that is the first item on my agenda. This plan B, 
how long would it be able to be used? Because if it's a plan B, you still have to fix the uh, the mm -hmm. original problem. Correct. That would imply that it's temporary. And yeah. it can't be used forever. So how long could it be in place? No, the best outfall to... location is still mm -hmm. off the Hilton. Right. There's no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. But the plan B I'm referring to off Graham Hall. Right. Would allow you to switch it while you fix it. Right, yeah, in right. case of but, but it could be used in short term. It might be used mm -hmm. for six months until you get your pipe fixed. And, and so that would give you six months to be able to fix. But I would leave it there. Mm -hmm. In case it. Okay, it happens again. You can use it again as, precisely, a, as precisely. another option. So that that to me is is, is um, you know is something that is should be done ASAP. And how long would it take to implement the Plan. I know it's not an uh, exact estimate, but how long do you think it would take to implement that plan? plan? B? Yes. But like I said earlier, four months, three to four months. I mean, that's very fast for a project like that. Yeah. But the the you would have to import the pipe. That pipe is not on an island, mm. and you would have to just make some precast concrete collars, and there there are barges on the island capable of coming in there with a big backhoe and cut the trench across these across the Indian. You know the the waiting area, I call it a, 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 a Graham Hall, you know, a car beach bar, right? That in, in the area inside your reef, you cut a trench across that, you will have to cut your reef, yes, and kick it out into the deeper water. So best case scenario, if this plan B was implemented tomorrow, residents on the South Coast would still have three to four months before they had some kind of relief. Um, no, there, yeah, but there, there, there are two different aspects. Mm -hmm. That relieves the sewage that's now going into the pipe off the hilltop. Mm -hmm. So you can then We're off scope at that mm -hmm. and look at how you can fix that. But that does not address the supposed blockage that's in the sewer that's going to Graham Hall. Mm -hmm. so there are two pipes. Yeah, but that was a question here as well. Yeah. So, so we have two issues. We yeah. have two, one is the one going to the outfall, right. going to Hilton, and then we also have from the sources along the coast, whatever right. there's Grab a the flow going, <laughs> going into to Graham Hall. So how does swamp? That, Not swamp, the plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how does how does how then all right, so that's plan B is to address the outfall. Right. Now the one with the sewage going into yeah. the Graham Hall treatment facility. Right. What would be plan B for that? Well, the only thing you could do in the short term is to do what they're attempting to do now, mm -hmm. that's construct the bypass. Mm -hmm. pump, if this is blocked here, you pump it from here over mm -hmm. here and let it keep going. Mm -hmm. right. And that's a, so having I'm diverted sure. it, then you have to figure out how you get it to fix it. Right. Mm -hmm. so, there's, so, there's, so there's two, so we've identified two problems. Both the in and out, we have a problem in both areas. Right. One we can address having that plan B, the right. outfall going through. Yeah. Right, out through the Graham Hall, 700 meters out. Right. The mitigating would be to pump over, which is what they're doing now for the in. Right, right. And so both require fixing. Yeah. And the challenge is, the fixing is that you have to go through layers of utilities. Well, it is, once you get the sewage out of the pipes, I, it's possible to use CCT to scope it properly and zero in on the problem. It's possible. I want to make to, find, to get technology then that you can put yeah, down yeah. in your shaft and go and rebore the hole, resleeve so the hole. I was asking if it wasn't possible to suction out the blockage. All things are possible, but you can't. Where it is, mm -hmm. the, the, no, what it is the type the blockage may be caused by sewage mm -hmm. or debris. The blockage may be caused because the pipe has failed. Right. The tunnel has failed, not right. the pipe. Mm -hmm. The pipe, there are two pipes in the tunnel. Mm -hmm. So if the tunnel has settled earth movement and created failure, you're not going to clear that by sucking it out. Yeah, that's going to be a, a fissure. This is a good time to introduce um, the comment made by Murray Chandler from Poly. Mm -hmm. I spoke to a source, and my source was indicating to me that the fix proposed by one of our sewage contractors locally was. $378,000 because they already have the 
equipment on site and so on. Mm -hmm. Another source at the, the Barbados Water Authority indicated to me that they brought in some CCTV equipment at $275,000 that is already destroyed by trying to use it too. So anyhow, yeah. they were trying to get around the, the $378,000 bad inclusive and created a $275,000 problem. But from you as an engineering standpoint, do you think that there's a possibility that we can have a fix at that price or that seems out of the ballpark to you? That's a drop in the, mm -hmm. that's a, a drop in the bucket. Mm -hmm. the, I don't know the details of the, the fix you were speaking about by um, Chandler or others, but it's going to cost a hell of a lot more than $300,000. <laughs> <laughs> I, just wanted to put that I wanted to um, get some feedback from you as well because you would have attended last night's town hall meeting mm -hmm. and you would have had a chance to sit with a number mm -hmm. of um, really? experts and mm -hmm. professionals mm -hmm. who would have given their input as to what they consider to be the problems and the solutions. Mm -hmm. So what was your takeaway from the, that? The, the thing last night was about holes, right? <laughs> but I think, I think it is, the, the, there's links to all of these things, mm -hmm. right? Obviously, which would be things like maintenance, mm -hmm. um, funding, financing yeah. for these yeah. issues and so on. So they're kind of interconnected to, to my mind. Uh, my thing is that the, or, or, or the lack for us really is information. Mm -hmm. um, the, this, but in Barbados, we hold information close to our checks, but yeah. you know as an authority. And I think that for one such a discourse, it really helps to make it a little more crystal clear to people that, that, that they don't really pay attention to these forms. Because yeah. at the end of the day, there's still this debate whether it is sewage, raw sewage, treated sewage, mm -hmm. whether it is maintenance or no maintenance, mm -hmm. whether it is, you understand, so the debate out there among ordinary Barbadians are the same, so even in relation to the problems. Hmm? You would hear the okay, exactly. One of the things is that we keep, we keep using this word sewage, but mm -hmm. you know, after talking to you, because you were mentioning about screening. Mm -hmm. Now, if those screening is not being maintained, <laughs> it doesn't. It could. It could be anything in those pipes, not just sewage. Mm -hmm. So then you would. You would be having. You'd be looking for a different problem, because if those things are going through the pipes, they alone can cause their own blockage. Would that not be correct? Uh, uh, the outfall. Yes. The outfall pipe has diffusers, <clears throat> so it disperses it into the water, mm -hmm. and those diffusers are not meant to take deleterious matter like rags or mm -hmm. uh, all those things. Mm -hmm. So if those things get out there inadvertently, then you block the diffusers and you have to send divers out to clear them. And that's why the plant has screens to screen out all of that mm -hmm. before you send it over there. So would you say that the screens are working? No, they're not working. No, no, no. The screens are not working? No. Like I said, that. Uh, some you were talking earlier, there are two different kinds of problems here. Mm -hmm. One is the, the poor or lack of maintenance, poor maintenance or lack of maintenance mm -hmm. in the operation of the plant at Ring Hall. Mm -hmm. um, the oh. pumps, the screening, the da da da, right? That's a maintenance issue which oh, relates to. should they be maintained? No, but, but that plant is what, approaching, well, I think it's approaching 20 years now. 17, 20 years. But they're designed to last like 50 years. Yeah, but every plant has a maintenance. Every, 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 every morning you maintain your car. Right. Does you maintain your body. Every morning you gotta you brush your teeth. That's, That's why I'm asking. Because you know if you have a if you have a vehicle, some yeah. people like to make sure it's maintained every six months. Right. To make sure it operates efficiently. If you have an older car, you might maintain it more regularly. What is the expected level of maintenance? How frequently should they, and what should they be doing in this maintenance to make sure that they prolong the life? I want to add something to that question mm -hmm. too, because this is something I pick up when we debate things. So, mm -hmm. some people say this is a chair, some people say this is great, and then they both right, so then yes. you have this continuous. In mm -hmm. terms of maintenance, the same thing happened when we had the, the Barbados Water Authority on our program. Mm -hmm. And they, they say that they do maintenance, they do 24 hour maintenance, they do all these different types of maintenance, right? Mm -hmm. And that's how they discovered the problem because there was maintenance. Now, if you check cast your mind back to 2015, mm -hmm. heads roll at the Barbados Water Authority because. <laughs> In 2015, oh, yeah, yeah, there were heads ro rolling because a lack of maintenance. There were parts of the pump or the part of the system mm -hmm. that had not been maintained for seven years, according to some reports. Right. So, what is the maintenance that they're talking about? Correct. So, probably one part is maintained, the other is not maintained. What, what, what is the is what is it there? Mean? What what is being maintained and what's not being maintained from media reports, according to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Because it, let me generalize it. Mm, Every mm. piece of mechanical equipment requires mm. maintenance. Correct. Everybody yeah. accepts that, right? Yes. Correct. That, that, right. So up there you have screens, you have pumps, you have mechanical devices. The, the room that the screen is, is deodorized, so it's because it has strong odor. Deodorizing, I understand, is not working. The, the scooter pumps are not. I think one is working at a reduced efficiency, the other one still hasn't been fixed. These are maintenance issues. You, uh, after five, ten years, you expect to do maintenance on school. There's pumps, you expect to maybe replace the screens, and, you know. There's set standards for how often you should do Yes. Well, the yeah, there system. could be, but, but it all has to do with budget. Yeah? Well, you, yes. you, it's a resource issue. Yes. If, hmm. if, if you, you um, budget for these things and then the budget isn't there, then that's a resource challenge as well. Yes. And, 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 I, and that's part of the problem. Yeah. <clears throat> so one of the things that, um, like Corey mentioned, Barbados is signatory to the Rio Accord, and principle 10 of the Rio Accord um, states that there must be participation by the community in any environmental matters. I can state unequivocally that, um, certainly going back to the Cahill issue, that we as the general public in Barbados the, the government does not engage the community in anything related to the environment. It got to the extreme where I went to an environmental session, which was done by someone from the ministry, and they were actually highlighting the principle 10, how it works, and they had a lovely PowerPoint presentation, which I would love them to show. When I tried to ask it, because at that time, I don't want to deflect back to Cahill, but at that point in time, Cahill was topical. And I wanted to ask a question on Kay Hill, and the organizers of the event came to me quietly and said, can't ask any questions. But one of the fundamental things of the principle of time, which was being done by the same Ministry of the Environment, was that you must have engagement participation by the, the community. And I had a lovely little circular chart where this happens, that happens, that happens, and it goes right back around before decision made. We the, People of Barbados, the 285,000 of us, when it comes to the environment, we're the last to find out about it. And as Corey said, there's a lot of misinformation out there that will simply be able to come and say, hey folks, mm -hmm. this is the problem, this is what we have to do. They've started a campaign now showing what you, well I, I think they did, showing, saying what you should not be throwing in the system. Mm -hmm. And to me, they're using it as a scapegoat. Mm -hmm. Because if you're saying in any municipality in the world, that, that really these happen. things are going to happen whether you have the best recycling program in the world and, and they are designed to do that. Mm -hmm. I think it's a scapegoat to be coming and giving misinformation to the public mm -hmm. on, a, on a general basis. Because not, not just to take away this, from our responsibility correct. that we are not the yeah. cause. We're not I want to say something like that too because um, I agree exactly what you're saying. So there's a tokenistic um, approach where the public is concerned, where you have to do these town hall meetings. And mm -hmm. we all know how that yeah. works. Well, mm -hmm. Even to a point where they didn't have something called a town hall meeting with Kayla, they called it something else. And then they had another one where you were not allowed to ask questions, or you had to filter questions through and, and stuff like that. But the government wouldn't mm -hmm. even show up. Correct. So, so <laughs> we should not be having that discussion and not, not detracting from the mm -hmm. case. Because so it's an approach. You could, you could apply it across the board because it's a general approach to things. The main, the main um, as you may know, when a planning application is made that requires an environmental impact assessment, there's a procedure there that requires an environmental report to be put in the public domain mm -hmm. for 28 days. So that you can, <laughs> right? And then thereafter, you have to have a public meeting. So you can get up and ask any questions. Um, the, the, the truth is that that is the only, yeah. I can recall, the only opportunity the public gets to interface and comment mm -hmm. on environmental issues related to their project. But, and, and that's fine, and that, that's a procedure that's been used for many years. Maybe it's not adequate. What I would like to see is that those environmental reports you put on a, a website and, and upload yeah, it, so you accessible. could everybody just sit down home and read it. Right. Mm -hmm. The way it's done now is put in two or three or four designated locations and a room, and you have to go and sit down there all day. And if your report is six inches thick, you could be there a long time reading and making notes. Mm -hmm. And so it does not really afford, you know, extensive access. <coughs> and I think it would be a vast improvement if our EIA reports 
And it can be done very easy. But they're all digital. You can upload it, and, and, and if you want, or whoever wants to read it, log on and read it. Uploading these mm -hmm. kind of reports, not saying it should not be accessible, yeah. is having someone who can then help the public to understand and break down the information because mm -hmm. you don't always have that person who makes. Yeah, yeah, no, take the point. But my point is, my first point is accessibility. I, I agree with you one hundred percent. And it all comes back to the government's principle. This mm -hmm. this grouping was started on the premise of of pushing and promoting the agenda of transparency, participation, accountability, and predictability. In other words, predictability, if you have one, um, you make one agreement here, that can be transferred to others. In, that goes from concessions to you know what project. project. You know what to expect when you go in there, you have this project meets this, this criteria. This was what the precedent was before, that's what predictability, all those come under the government's principles. But I, I don't really understand why everything has to be in this cloak of secrecy. Hmm. Um, there, there seems to be this, this thing that we must, and I don't know if people think that we, we did not read Animal Farm when we were younger, but that was one like 90 pages or whatever it was. We read it when we were younger, we live it now. So I don't understand. So, we're, we're not we're immature, we're, we're, most, most people in Barbados are, are, are mature people that you come and you sit down, you explain the problem, people, you know, they'll not be happy, but just come and explain the problem and say, look, these, look we have main issues, we have no money, we have main issues, this has not been working for a period of time, this has not been doing... Well, you know, in, 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 and it's not only Barbados, you think, in all it's everywhere. small island societies, you find there uh, tends to be a philosophy, what you don't know, you don't worry about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you don't know sure. about it, you keep it quiet for now. And if you let people know to me things, it might work. You know, mm -hmm. there's that kind of... I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I'm just saying that philosophy. Yeah, that's wrong. <laughs> philosophically, yeah. that's true. Yeah. What you don't know, you don't worry about. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that gets more intense the smaller the society. Mm -hmm. I don't like Barbados, you know, people are very conscious of but what they're doing, or keep it secret. Information is poor. Information is poor. Yeah. For, for, yeah. for me, the, the biggest problem with this whole issue was the um, misinformation yes. that was being communicated yeah. through yeah. even saying the Barbados War Authority. Mm -hmm. And then it was allowed to, you know, you have mm -hmm. this dramatic picture of these rags coming out. Mm -hmm. like, and then blame the Barbadian public for it. I and wasn't saying like, that because it was part yeah. of that exercise, right? I mean, <laughs> And let me let me tell you though why why I don't see it exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. The Barbados Water Authority was putting all that information according to them for the last ten years. Mm -hmm. The girl Nicole Austin, the inspector, mm -hmm. she'd been on CBC, she'd been on Brass Stats with David Ellis, putting all that information. What I didn't hear it. the information about water putting sewer and water putting sewer. But understand, until we are in crisis mode, that goes over your head and yes. it is like no. I'm, I'm serious. Barbara's not so, in crisis. Exactly. <laughs> so, so my thing was, is that they could not, don't waste a good crisis as the saying goes, right? Yeah. They could not let this crisis pass without putting out that information. Yeah. I agree the, with them. So, so the whole thing is, the, 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 the thing is, is not to make it like shift the blame and say this is the problem. Right. But what was happening is, with the engineers were saying, we are trying to fix the problem now, and this is kind of exactly this in the situation. In terms of, the, especially the things like, on that particular day, a week before that day, Right, they were actually trying to, to clear one of the bypass pumps, as as Mr. Hutchinson had said. Remember, they put in this pump kind of like a, a measure, and they had any screens. Right, the, 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 the people who were maintaining that now they were buttoning up on syringes all the time in that particular pump, which is like medical ways. And you, you have to kind of navigate around that. So, yeah, that was why they were trying to make a deal out of it then, right. as they did before, but you were more or less no at this stage. Well, why think I think really challenges come in. This could this would digress into another session. Mm -hmm. It becomes a responsibility of the media because mm -hmm. I would say is that no, I'm here, you're educating me. Mm -hmm. So I will apologize to the Barbados War Authority for what I just said. Mm -hmm. Because if she has been saying it for and I have been listening, mm -hmm. but this is where really, I have been listening. This, this, this is where really responsibility yeah, the media. You need a but how you don't hear it. <laughs> but correct me if I'm wrong, how it was presented in the media, mm -hmm. it sounded like this is how I read it. They read it like we were the ones at fault. Mm -hmm. No, I, I, I fully understand. So that, and, 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 that, and, and to me, that is mm -hmm. why I see there is the media just sensationalizing issue. And then again, that's where the authority needs to come out and say, hey, mm -hmm. that's not what we said, that's mm -hmm. not what we meant. 
the, the issue is, is that I think the Water Authority needs to have a, for lack of a better term, come clean type town hall meeting. Correct, correct. Yes. Take the licks that they're gonna have, but just come and tell but the people tell right. the people this is this is where we are today. Mm -hmm. We can't change the past. We we know that there's issues. They've got plenty of people to blame. Um, last year I think the Attorney General said yeah. that everybody should be fired. Mm -hmm. To me that's not an approach. Mm -hmm. That is um mm -hmm. I, I Whatever you want to call that. But they fired but everyone think, two years before that statement, you know. They did they, a like a reshuffling type thing. But they they did that with the personnel, but to me they didn't they didn't deal with the, the issues that the store. Correct. They didn't de they didn't deal with the issues that Mr. Hashimoto you know, was speaking about. They're they didn't deal with the you know, strategic the, issues. The, I guess those were cheaper options. <laughs> so, so, the issue, so the issue is that we have so, we have a uh, so so if you have something down the line called a diffuser, which is one we don't need ocean. Mm -hmm. And that's not designed to handle Solids. Mm -hmm. Solids. Mm -hmm. And we have at the front end something that's not screening the solids, mm -hmm. then you're going to have a problem on the back end because then you're going to be constantly you know, fixing that diffuser. So the idea would be to, to make sure that you maintain the source, mm -hmm. yeah. to make sure that the challenges down the, the line, so to speak, is minimized. Would that be correct? Yeah, yeah well, that's part of the problem. The, don't, what we're talking about all this, don't, don't forget that the first sewer system we had was in Bridgetown, and that was commissioned in 1979, right, late 79. So the, the whole the Bridgetown community that hooked up to it would have been sensitized, would have got these things for water authority, what you put in, what you don't put in, and so mm -hmm. forth. And, and I dare say when the South Coast system was built, uh, I don't recall if they had additional uh, PR campaign on that subject. But it may, it may have been presumed that we have one of the stones that everybody knows about already. Right. You know, that, that may have been. Mm. Uh, but then also too, the challenges when they were building it, chances are all of that was overlooked. Because um, I think one of the contractors went bankrupt or... Yeah, one, the, on the sewer system, the, 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 contra the first contractor <coughs> didn't complete and then I think engaged another contractor to finish it. So it took an inordinate length of time. There's a comment that was made that I want to address because it's in relation to one of the comments you made earlier about priorities. Mm -hmm. And the statement was made about prioritizing the new Barbers Water Authority building <laughs> over this. Mm -hmm. Now hindsight is 2020. Sure. I'm not saying because mm -hmm. I was not involved in the decision making. Mm -hmm. I'm not aware of what information they would have had as to which was the higher or lower priority. Mm -hmm. But from what I understand, the issues with the building that the Water Authority staff were in was very serious. Mm -hmm. So you have the decision where you have to decide between the safety, health and safety of your staff versus a sewer system that you probably were hoping would hold out. Mm -hmm. That is the general gist of what I got, the impression that I got for the reason the decision was made as to how accurate this was in terms of the information they would have had to make their decision mm -hmm. that remains to be seen. I think it goes another level too. It has a lot to do with procurement and mm -hmm. financing. Mm -hmm. Because my understanding is that with these projects, they go for financing. Yes. Now let's say for instance, the financiers say, I'm going to finance a building because they may find that as something they may want to finance. And at the same time, your priority could be the sewer system. Yes. You can't take money and fix the sewer system. No, you no. got to buy a building well, and yes. that money is for building. for building. And that's something they're going to point out. Because the optics of it always looks bad. The yes. same thing happened with the Sanitation Service Authority with their new building and so mm -hmm. on. So we get a lot of new buildings and, we, and within these particular departments, sanitation especially, there are guys in there who don't have gloves and yes. boots and so yes. on. But yet you see this new million dollars, millions of yes. dollars. And but it has to do with the way that we, we get we are getting our financing. Well one of the things I'm glad you raised that point because one of the things is that we, we obviously are pushing for the government's principles and integrity legislation mm -hmm. put in place. And one of the things is that, I think, in terms of the politicians, is that the, the, it may be a concept that they may be concerned, you know, that what they have to disclose or whatever, but in my opinion, institutions and the principles of governments will actually ha ha help the politicians yes. because it will decrease the level of optics because there will be a level of transparency and accountability in the system. As you know, in most places, in, 
most Bajans are conspiracy theorists to some extent. Right. They'll okay. see, they'll see, Love the room. <laughs> they'll see, they'll see you leave in one location mm -hmm. and 12 different people will have 12 different reasons why Corey is leaving that location. <laughs> All the reasons, and, people. <laughs> and, 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 that, and that will be true. So, yeah, yeah, so when you have, when you have, when you're, mm -hmm. when you're crystal clear mm -hmm. and you put mm -hmm. everything in open, mm -hmm. you, it doesn't give the opportunity of the, what I call the stenographers in Barbados to sensationalize the story. Because that's what we get in the media these days now, it's just sensationalized, um, um, try, try, right? Just sensational writing. And any, any person from any of the periodicals can, can call me, I'm willing to sit down and discuss it with them. But I personally don't read newspaper because everything is, they, they put half a story and, and then they can easily get both sides of the story and then it'd be a no story at all. But that doesn't help them. But so when we have the governance principles in place, and I will continue to push this in every show, you put the integrity legislation in place, a lot of these things, and you follow the principles that we've signed on to, like the principle 10 of the Rio Accord, none of these will be an issue because under those principles, you must engage and participate with your citizenry. And your, they use the word community, and we are a community. So something as serious as this, the War Authority, yes, they're, they're putting out these um, communiques and, and these communications, but they need to, in my opinion, they need to sit down, tell people reality. No, no animal farm, nothing. Just tell us what the story is. We, we are mature enough to accept it. We got to know what the problem is. We got to know how to fix it. Because if you come and say tomorrow, well, we got to dig up this for the next nine, 12 months, at least let us know why that has to be done mm -hmm. and the reason. And tell us the whole thing. Draw a nice little map. Show us what it's done. Mm -hmm. Most people think I like it, but we have no choice. But right now, the alternative, when you're on uh, advisory on three of our <laughs> major tourist destinations, mm -hmm. and it's gone through the Caribbean, which is our fourth mm -hmm. other major destination, mm -hmm. that doesn't help At all. short, mm -hmm. mid or long term because my, I had in law staying at uh, a place in Worthing, and there was so much misinformation among the, the, the tourists there. People were the people in, in that location was telling them, "Oh, you got boiled water to drink," and nobody knew whether yeah, this yeah, was. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and nobody is using the restaurants mm -hmm. on the yeah, south coast. Um, I know of an institution where they were looking to have their Christmas thing because they do it in January because of the, and they were looking at one a couple of south coast restaurants. You know, it's been any staff going to go. Now, I'm not doing that to, 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 to scaremonger on the South Coast. I'm just telling you that's the reality. Yeah, but we need to get out front. And the problem is, is that, well, but not only that, well, any government ministry is coming out now, Ministry of Health, whatever, nobody's believing them, even if they're telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Nobody's believing them because we've operated for years in cloaks of secrecy, going back generations. Yes. Yeah. Generations. Yeah. In, in one administration, it's close to secrecy all through. Because and we're not because limited because to Barbados. You go anywhere in the Caribbean, anywhere in the world, governments just believe that we must operate in a cloak of secrecy. And the people who put them there in the democratic framework believe they must operate like an oligarchy. After that day of democracy, which is the only one day I consider that Barbados has the democracy. When you put X, yeah. when you put X that's the only day that democracy. we're democratic. <laughs> After that, <laughs> For the second 25 years, you know that. Yeah. My, my thing is, programs like these are important, really, because when you have an education, an educated population, you can start to bring about that change. Change in behavior and culture is very difficult. Yeah. In sociology, we learn that you know, it takes almost a generation to change behavior. But with, the, with this time, you've got politicians knocking at doors. If you can get people to talk about these things, as opposed to esoteric or you know, individual type thing, I want mm -hmm. a job from a nephew, I want two pieces so of galvanized kind of thing. And you could get them talking about principle 10, I think that that could be the beginning of a very fruitful exercise. If we get more citizens showing our politicians that we're more interested in information Correct. as opposed yeah. to other things. What do you say to you? <laughs> yeah. I, I understand the reason why persons want is if they've gone through five, mm -hmm. well, several years of hardship and so see that this is the only time that they can get something out of it. I understand it, I may not agree with it, but you have to understand what you're dealing sure. with. And asking persons to give up the one opportunity to get something back mm -hmm. is going to be difficult. It's not saying that you're not going to yeah. you're going to stop if trying. We, if we go back to the sewer system, yes. I just make a few comments. I've heard some comments on the radio 
I don't remember where the source is, but there was some party suggesting that the sewer system was under design, poorly designed, mm -hmm. it can't take the capacity. Mm -hmm. that, that's, I cannot, I don't support mm -hmm. that as an engineer. Mm -hmm. the, the sewer system was designed by competent people. Mm -hmm. And uh, normally a sewer system like that, you know, you, you look at the land use and you do the projections. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm mm -hmm. talking about the, the capacity, comment and the capacity yeah. and inadequate. It's 20 years old, it got rebuilt and it's too small. Again, that's the misinformation. But that that's is big. That's, that's why that's why you're But question, but serious question, would it, would it not be built though with a finite capacity? Yes, but we, not we, twenty years. Not, not twenty years. No, no, years. you're talking about no, no. When, yeah. when engineers design those things, you look mm -hmm. at the land use, mm -hmm. and you look at the use of the land projected, correct? The fiscal development plan, correct? And you, so you, you don't only go by what is there now. Mm -hmm. right? You take into account the growth of the area, the development of the area, new hotels, etc. All that goes into it. Goes back to your point, information, because an engineer. At the Barbados Water Authority, my source, I will call them from now on, <laughs> they were telling me one of the problems really is the lack of capacity, funny enough. And they were saying because you had a lot of rainwater, storm water, leakage mm -hmm. water from underground getting into the system. But remember, according to you, there are two pipes, so that shouldn't be a problem because the sound. No, 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 you mix it up. Yeah, you mix it. Of, yeah, yeah, you're a lot of things tanking up there. So if it's built for a no, no, capacity, no. but we get rainwater and all that, no, and no. would that cause a problem? Yes. The sewer okay, system we have in the Caribbean is what we call a, it's not a combined system. Mm -hmm. in, in, in England and other places, a combined system is designed to take rainwater plus sewage. Mm -hmm. And they don't get much rain. I mean, you know, but in tropical climates like this where you get heavy, intense rain, it is not economic, economically feasible to build a combined system which will take sewage and rainwater. But when you ring down, you are in a big, big volume. Right. Correct. Right. Correct. So the system we have here is to collect black water, grey water, sewage. Right. But yeah, it's not every sewage system will get an element of infiltration because you have mm -hmm. holes in the road and get a little leakage. Mm -hmm. But if there's excess water going into it, yeah, well, that, that is a problem. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. So one of the things, because we were on capacity now, I spoke to another another engineer and. Not that he was a, with the sewer system, but he was involved in a lot of projects that we had a development on of course. He said, you know, people were blaming Sandals or blaming this or blaming mm -hmm. all the other hotels. He said that what people have to realize is that when the plant was designed, for the most part, the South Coast was relatively developed at that point in time. Mm -hmm. And he said that, you know, the level of development that would have had to been built into the system would have been adequate. But he also said that while other hotels came on, there have been plants that have left the system. So he could have named off about 12 or 15 that had left. So what do you mean left? The these sewage plants? No, as in the, the hotel oh, plants. Oh, hotel plants. The hotel plants yeah. had left the system. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 so you get add, yeah, you get pluses and minuses. All these so things. It goes to your point that mm -hmm. this misinformation that's being spread out there about the capacity of the plant yeah. is, is flawed and false. Well, mm -hmm. the current flow from what I've understood is about two and a half million gallons a day of sewage. Mm -hmm. And the plant, as we all, if I recall correctly, was sized for six, up to six million gallons a day. Because you, you project for the future, you don't right. build it for tomorrow. Six minutes, six all right? Year. But so, then the so other thing too is he said, he's saying that the, he said to me that the plant would have an idea because they send bills to people who connect the system. Mm -hmm. So if they are approaching that level, then you know that there will be some sort of projection or proactive approach to say, hey, we're approaching our mass, but so they can estimate it. They sure. don't have meters going into the system, but they can estimate how much usage per per location. No, well, we have meters. There's no the, idea why meter. There's meter. There's metering on the Not system. sewage. Yeah. I know why metering of water. Right. Mm -hmm. And usually about eighty yeah. percent of the water generally goes to sewage. So what you're saying is, there was a method of, of yeah, there is. Of, of if you add up all your water meters, water authority that they could and they they could estimate by twenty percent, they get an idea what the flow is. So he, his 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 uh, premise was that the capacity issue was flawed. That that that, that the capacity was not an issue. No, it's not an issue. It's not so, an issue. I so, agree with that. So if we based we on have, based on buildings and usage, but mm -hmm. not based on um, excessive storm water. Right. 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 Right.
Right. When this, so you gotta be clear too. I, I seem to recall. You correct me if I'm wrong. When this first hit the news, mm -hmm. the first story coming out was that the bubbling up was caused by excess storm. It had come just after mm -hmm. yes. the big rainfall. Mm -hmm. Excess storm water was getting into the system. And so we're putting pressure on the pumps and everything to handle this volume. And that, that was the story, first story that came out. Right. That was obviously debunked when we hit the dry season. Mm -hmm. No rainfall, anybody was saying. It was the bottom. Yeah, it goes back to the, the animal farm type. Yeah. Uh, well, I know it was animal farm, but, but. It may just be that that's what they thought it was. Yes. They came to that conclusion. Yes. No one went further to uh, yeah, explore right. alternatives. Yeah. And then when they realize it was wrong, so now have to start from scratch in terms of finding out what the root cause is. Well, we have a comment here from um, Shane Lowe. Mm -hmm. um, he said that the capital e expansion net lending was 357.6 million in 2006-2007. He said it's now 225.1 million in 2016 2017. So you have, you have literally a reduction of about 100 and and 20, 25 million, 100 and... Was it actually loan that was paid back? You mean? No, no, this no. Is, it's just capital expenditure on, on maintenance. Mm -hmm. so oh, right, yes, yes. So it's been cut significantly. Yeah. So it's spent less on, you know, it's spent less on capital expenditure. Yeah. Right, so capital expenditure, so, so in other words, everything has been cut mm -hmm. in that area. So we have a, yeah. you know, so that, that goes back. So, so the issues as we can summarize, because I want to make sure that we're clear in terms of what the issues are, because people have this, you know, a lot of misconceptions. I had a very interesting um, um, article this week, um, actually yesterday or today, by um, I think her name is Daphne Ewing. I saw, I saw it. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, she, so she missed this, this spell five of the myths. But I think what we're doing here tonight is just expanding a bit. I don't remember that. all of them, but there were, I read it, and there were some little inaccuracies in her in her story as well. Because she was reporting on her best knowledge. But, mm -hmm. but what was the inaccuracy? I, I will have to go through each one to remember okay. her, what. Um, I think what a few people have called me, and uh, they were as astonished that there was no. Um, the only treatment we were getting at William Hall was screenings. They were always of the impression that we were treating the sewage and, you know, to the highest quality before we disposed of it and going to the highest environmental, you know, profile. And so there were some people who were, were um, what, upset to discover <laughs> that that's not the case. But this, there are many waste water disposal systems. If you have a good old fall site, it prevents you, provides you the opportunity to do a least cost solution. Mm -hmm. you screen it, dispose of it. There's nothing wrong with it, it's, it's technically sound. Mm -hmm. And therefore, that is the option that was taken. For the economic reason. No major, major, no major if, if, if your screen is not working, you're sending. Yeah, yeah, but that's a maintenance sending, issue. That's not a. If you're sending needles. Yeah, yeah but that, that's, that's, that's not a design yeah. issue. That's, that's a maintenance issue. That's a maintenance yeah. issue, which yeah. is part of the problem. But this actually speaks to a bigger root cause that we mm. actually discussed when we were on Brass Cat some time back mm. that mm. I have a fundamental issue with. No, Shane mentioned the maintenance being cut in the budget. Mm -hmm. Persons are taking issue with it, and I personally, from my years of experience in external audit, I would have seen companies who have, because of harsh times, mm -hmm. decide to cut maintenance and have paid dearly yeah, for yeah, it sure, yeah, sure, later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Now, here is the problem mm -hmm. you cut this, but it's assumed you cut it so that you could save something else. The government has several areas that they need to spend money on you have education, mm -hmm. you have health, you have all of these different things. Now, the problem is. How are you going to prioritize if you do not know what your national strategy is supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Do we know what is a priority item for mm -hmm. the Barbados? What is our plan as a country? Where is our vision? Where, what is the direction that you plan to go in? So if you said mm -hmm. that this maintenance was cut in an effort to make sure that citizens' health are taken care of, then I could say, okay, I at least understand, even though I may not agree. I see where your vision and your plan is. Unfortunately, 
that vision and plan is not there. So the citizens are left to wonder mm -hmm. what direction we're going in as a country. So you're cutting maintenance on something that in the long run is going to have a significant impact on a person's health because we've already seen, we don't want to scare anybody, but the outbreaks that have been happening. And I am not a doctor, but <laughs> it, but, but, it doesn't but take much to put. I, I hear, let's talk about the mm -hmm. budget issue which she has yeah. raised. Mm -hmm because it, it goes to a much deeper root cause. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Iberian Authority is a statutory authority. And, and they can't control all these no, no, things all the no, time. No, 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 hold on a minute. Don't you think as a statutory authority responsible for water distribution and sewage in Barbados that the water authority should be self-sufficient? You could be at some point. <sighs> no, 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 I am no. Not saying no. It, 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 but I mean, this is this is this is a deep. Well, this is going to yeah, this, this going, going, going to be a deep this, this cause problem yeah. because all of our agents, all of our statutory authorities, and so on. How many of them here? Yeah, he is, he start me up now because I can start <laughs> to think about the energy cost yeah. that right. the water should go. Up. No, the point, okay. the point I I really want to make. Mm -hmm. Do you know that the water coming through your tap mm -hmm. in this house mm -hmm. costs you 0.3 cents per liter? Mm -hmm. You know, you get a leader, you get a leader, you get right? Yes. Domestic rate, that's the bottom mm -hmm. rate. If you waste it, the rate goes up. Right. There's a tier structure. Yes, yes. The commercial rate to offices mm -hmm. is 0. 0.5 cents. Mm -hmm. Half a cent per liter. We sell water to the ships mm -hmm. at 0. 0.8 of a cent per liter. Now, pray tell me how you can expect to operate a authority that's complicated by this water authority and meet all those budgets and so if you're selling the water that way. Tell me that. That, that is, a, is a math equation you cannot solve. Mm -hmm. Now, compare it. I've done this comparison. Mm -hmm. You go to the supermarket and you see bottled water. Yeah. You know how people much you buy. Huh? Yeah, people, people buy. buy. But you know how much you pay for it? Yes. $2.50 for you sitting yes. in so you get your water your house for 0.3 of not even a cent, 0.3 of a cent per liter. You're giving me a Korea idea, you know? But like the egg of already. Well no, I'm I'm serious, I'm serious. It, we have we one. have masked the true value of water. So we don't that's where where's the money coming from? Water authority's revenue comes from selling water yeah. and sewage. Sewage rate is sixty six percent of your water rate. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's your revenue source. So if their revenue source is weak yeah. or is, is muzzled, mm -hmm. how can they balance their budget unless they get a subvention from government, which they do? It wasn't an economic, social issue. Of course that, it that Of course it But don't say anything else you have to raise the one. But there so you go, because then you can't have a situation where there are people in who can't afford water. Yeah. That's the problem. I don't agree. You can provide social facilities to do identify who is in need and provide mechanisms for that. Do those work? Is it fair, is it fair to keep the price of water at that ridiculous low rate no. using your argument? I, I am <laughs> saying there should be no adjustments, mm -hmm. but well, there must be a strategy. You can't just mm -hmm. sit down and say in even in this short session mm -hmm. that you're going to come up with the best way to go forward. But Correct. I think persons need to start putting some thought into it mm -hmm. because you cannot continue this way. As you said, you need you need the revenue so that even when these kind of things happen, you have the money. What authority is a business? It is a business. Which business that could operate also a social like that. service? Right, and that's part of our wider economic challenge in Barbados. We 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 Correct. want to have you know these. We can't keep having everything free or cheap. Mm -hmm. But I, I not agree. not free, not free. Don't. I, I always correct people. This free thing. We well, say so we pay taxes. So we pay taxes. 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 We pay and I think that, again, with the model, we need to look at communication because I think that they have attempted to change the model, but right. it's not being, you don't get the buy of the public by doing it stuff, yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, if we are custom paying high taxes and getting things at point of delivery free, right. then if you go to this model where, where and I'm starting to buy it, Mr. Hutchinson's model more, even though it's more social, right? In terms of there, there are people out there who can afford, who can? right? There, it's true. But there, there is a catch-22 in that in my 
because they are some of the highest tax persons. No, somebody paid five thousand dollars in taxes in two thousand. You saw a piece of somebody recently was like, "Whoa, the government on here is person, right?" Yes. But they got five thousand, two thousand, right? To think they get three thousand a little bit in their hands, right? And then you say to that person, "You you are making money, so you need to to go and pay yeah. at source." But I'm saying, well, you just take two thousand dollars. Oh, my, my money. Yeah. You got to come in from to get yeah. that. So you know, redistribution of wealth and so on, and tax systems and so on. Mm-hmm. But I think that we we really got to really start to focus, discuss. And and, and be, as 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 twins, you know, get honest with the people, yes. lay bare. Mm-hmm. I said that this is the way we gotta go. But I don't agree with doing it in stealth, and I do not agree with taxing people more and asking them to pay more at the same time. It, 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 the, the two cannot go together. I would never. So you will frustrate. We have to find a balance. Already Correct. frustrated Correct. citizens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, um, just to kind of guess, mm-hmm. but, um, mm-hmm. first of all, in terms of communication, um, I saw. Welcome, Joyanne. Hey, she um, joined on. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if you. Hi, want Joyanne. To, I don't know if you want to make an invitation to the Water Authority while she's here. I would like to. Let me see if I can do it. Because they want to embarrass me and they lack the technological skills. I can add a person. But you have to ask her first if you want. I thought you caught her. No, permission. she was on here. Joanne is always winning, right, Joy? <laughs> but what what she did is good. That one of the things I think we didn't. I don't know if we did that very really intense. Joanne can last much. What is actually toy industry, and there, and there's been still a debate. Sewage, no, raw sewage, 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 um, treated sewage. We definitely raw sewage, right? Because people are saying no, it isn't raw sewage. No, it's raw sewage. So you hear here, it is actually raw sewage, not very complicated. Yeah, there's no biological treatment. Sewage, raw sewage. Well, it's not as mentioned raw sewage. No, it's raw sewage. Correct. It's what it is. It's what it is. So do we have any right soup to go down to the South Coast? Yeah, yeah. You got any right soup. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, to, to, because there are, what we were trying to say is that there were a lot of people that joined on, um, <clears throat> joined on late. Yeah. So, um, there were some comments here that they were kept saying what the problem was, but we had already addressed it. So, just to, just to back up, um, if you want to address going through what the, the problem is, the outflow, the two flows. There, 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 there. There are two kinds of problems. One problem relates to the challenges with maintenance or lack thereof of the plant, mm-hmm. like William Hall and, and so forth, right? Cashing so that's a maintenance the, problem. Cashing all the things out so right. you can reach the The pumps not working properly, the, the screen's not working, the mm-hmm. deodorizer, you know, those things are meant to clean up the sewage before you send it out. Right. Right? So that's one kind of problem. The other kind of problem is the the blockage, you know, it's either a break or a blockage or and or both, all right? And the only way you will confirm that is with CCTV and, and, and various investigations, right? Mm-hmm. So the, let's separate, there are two kinds of things. Mm-hmm. There's, the, let's say, poor maintenance over years, which is you know, brought us to this point. But there's the other issue of why is the pipe not flowing? Mm-hmm. Because of, all right? Now, one could argue that if indeed the tunnel has collapsed at that point, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. That is unforeseeable. Correct. That Correct. you can't blame the body for that. Right? You would think it would you would Peter not even blame, but you would want to know where was the plan B for those particular things. But the right. same room mm-hmm. of the water authority is saying that maintenance is not the issue. Is the technical guy yeah. Maintenance is not the issue? Yes. But if maintenance is not the issue, how come the screw lift pumps aren't working? How come the screens aren't working? How come they're bypassing the inlet with the sewage? Hello, that don't make sense. Okay. I would, I'm there are maintenance issues. Explain himself. Further. Turn it up, turn it up. No. Turn it up. Turn it up. Let's go on. Let's go on. Technical questions. Yeah. I would like a, a comment more from Mr. Broom and Mr. Hutchison on this. One of the things that came up would have been, and they said that this goes on in sewers around the world too, though. But in terms of the access to the manholes that lead into the sewage, mm-hmm. that can actually sabotage, but not, not maliciously, but otherwise sabotage the sewage. Should something have been done, or can something be done in those particular areas to prevent or at least mitigate those? Some, some kind of screens on per private property, instead of having a, a, a free for all that goes into the manholes. Um, there, it is possible to buy a manhole cover. Have you ever seen the manhole covers you're talking about? Yeah, yeah so both types. The but but they're quite heavy. Yeah. No, no, Johnny can't just go to the screwdriver and open mm-hmm. it. It's mm-hmm. quite, quite heavy. 
And but um, the point I'm making is manhole covers are made. You can get them with locks. Mm -hmm. You put a bolt yeah, on it, and okay, so it, it, it's bolted down. So you just can't go and price it. You got to go with spanners, and you know, right. somebody will see you. Mm -hmm. So you make it more difficult to get. That, right? mm -hmm. and where where my holes are deemed to be at risk of malicious interference, mm -hmm. you would normally put on them those kind of covers. The response by this water authority to that suggestion, which came from an overseas caller, was that. They made it that way in case persons needed to access the manhole on their particular property. They won't have to be sending people out all the time. How do you respond to that? Uh, um, on a private it? property, mm -hmm. the property owner really has no business or reason mm -hmm. accessing the manhole. Mm -hmm. All sewage goes into the sewer system by pipes from your property. Mm -hmm. You have no business going to lift in manholes. And mm -hmm. that, that's really. I can't buy into that. Okay, okay. I will let them they then respond. But their technical people are online following yes. now and you heard the response. We get a counter response for that hopefully. Hopefully soon. Well just to just to be clear, I think um we had um we had uh there, there was some a member from the Barbets of Authority who was supposed to be here tonight. Yeah. But unfortunately he couldn't make it. Conflicting so. priorities, right. but <laughs> but, but we still. So I still, use that one way, boy. I love it. <laughs> but, so we we will still, because we're here about clarity. We're here yes. about information. Because so I really want to have as the, the majority of the discussion has been centered around Boris Water Authority's role. I would have loved to have had him here, but so we are we are extending yes. the invitation. I have extended the invitation to those who are have the authority. Because I know that there would also be a, you would have to make sure that you have the authority to speak on the behalf of the Barbados Water Authority to bring any clarification to any of the issues that were discussed here. Please feel free <coughs> to do so. I think um, I think Peter King is, is, has just wrote in. I think mm -hmm. because he may not have joined at the beginning. Right. He's saying he's clarifying, saying that the maintenance is not an issue at this point. He's saying it's not the meaning the, the causes of the breach, right. which is not what we, we had said. The issue really, in general, is the maintenance of what Mr. Hutchinson um, outlined. But the challenges at the breach is what... Mm -hmm. um, so, so we are speculating here. So, mm -hmm. Mr. Peter King, if you can join or you would like to just add something here now, Explain to what the breach is because I saw further up you said that the breach is between the micro tunnel, between the old. Um, let me just scroll back up. You said it was between the old Scotia Bank site and the swamp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Old Scotia Bank site. I think what he's saying here is similar to what Mr. Hutchinson mm -hmm. was saying, and you could confirm. It's Please, oh, you could get him joining. Mr. Hutchinson, he's saying, I'm not saying the maintenance is not the issue at this point. Mm -hmm. The issue is the breach in the force, affluent main and the gravity sewer. The mm -hmm. breach is the cause of the overflows. And Which is what we said earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. Right, correct. So I, and I made it clear, there are right. two kinds of problems. Correct. There's a right. maintenance problem with the plant and there's right. a problem with the breach. Right. They're two separate. And then you mentioned about the gravity because what's happening is when it's coming from the lower lining areas, pump going over the hill to go back into the yeah, gravity Yeah, the, the, the pumps are taken from the low lying areas and dumping it into the gravity to flow along to go to Graham Hall. Mm -hmm. Clearly, if the pipe to Graham Hall is blocked and you're pumping into that pipe, yeah. it's going to fill up yeah. under pressure then, yeah. and that's where so you see the bubble in comes from the road. No, the break, break. Right. I love yeah. when that happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm glad everyone's on the So what happened is that uh, <laughs> Obviously, he would have joined late. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. At least, so at least what we have now is. Well, yeah, he probably joined and saw us now. So yeah. we have confirmation from that is what. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There, there are two separate issues, and, and, and in, in all fairness, I don't know that you could have foreseen that the, the tunnel would have collapsed. That is, you know, that is unforeseen. You, mm -hmm. you, you, you would, the tunnel was designed, it was constructed, work for many years. But it appears, because they're still doing CCTV search, but it appears as though the tunnel is subsided or settled or ruptured or all bits of all three, which is impacted on the pipes mm -hmm. to stop the pipes. So I think now that since we are have the engagement of the the war authority, uh, two two major um, uh, senior people in the war authority, mm -hmm. I think really what the what we're asking for from the, the beginning is, you know, what exactly is the issue? How do we solve it? 
and you know what is the, the time frame in terms of, of getting us out of this position? Are we in a three month window, a six month, a nine month, a two year? You know, what are the plans in place to, to deal with the problem? And what is the problem at this stage? Because we see them working hard. Yes. But no, but I, as I said earlier, to repeat for those who just joined, mm -hmm. there's a short short term for what I call mitigation measures, <coughs> the medium and the long term. Mm -hmm. The short term measure and mitigation measure is what World Authority has attempted to do with some success mm -hmm. to stop the bubbling up. Right. By reducing the load on the system, by putting a bypass pump. And that's fair game. That that is that, that makes sense. But that's just to mitigate and stop, you know, trying to reduce the bubbling up in the road, which is right. the optics are bad. Yes. All right? So that, that's that's a, what I call a short term mitigation measure. Not only the optics. <laughs> but 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 the, Same than everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, so but, so uh, to, to summarize, to summarize, you got the mm. problem with the maintenance with the scrublet, the yeah. screw scru and the screens to stop all the the fetuses, the, the needles, the yeah, rags, the condoms, yeah, everything yeah, from getting yeah, yeah. into the system. Right. We have a pre a pre treatment system. That's what you call it. It's preliminary. It's but preliminary it's treatment. Preliminary treatment, which means it takes all of that. Right. But it's still raw sewage that goes from the grain hall plant. Right. To the outfall oh, by the Hilton. The, 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 the and you're saying there's an issue there by the outfall by Hilton as well. No, no, all I'm saying is if you if you don't screen out the diffuser the matter, right, the then that the, the diffuser yeah. matter is going to block the diffusers because they're not intended to take that. So right. Right. We, 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 we want to say Needham's point instead of Hilton. Well, cool true, that, that is true. Let me say Hilton. Persons know what we mean when we say Hilton, but they right. might right. not understand when you say Needham's point. I know, but I said that was a Hilton, that scary right. visitor. Okay, Needham's point. Yeah, Peter Needham's King, point. Peter King Bloom has added that the effluent that is being pumped through the force main is being recycled through the gravity sewer pipe. The solution is to bypass both the sewer gravity fed and the force main. But well, that's what I think what I was attempted to do. Yes. With, with, you know, that's, I call that a short term mitigation measure. Mm -hmm. Because you've got, you know, you got to bring things under control. Mm -hmm. But there has to be a, a medium or long term, long -term solution. Yeah. Correct. Which, in my view, partly long term, medium term solution mm -hmm. is to construct an auxiliary outfall mm -hmm. so you can divert the entire right. flow through another outfall. And it gives you the opportunity then to seriously look at how you're going to fix the other pipe. Which was suggested as a six million, estimated at a six million dollar investment. Investment as an auxiliary or mm -hmm. which you, you would always have as plan B. But yes. if if you're, if you're diverting it, where where they're diverting it to? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? You do there'd be a valve there by the No, not not in your plan. I'm talking about what they're doing now. Oh no, they're just. They're just bridging it across the, the, the yeah. well, section so of the pipe. As just a diversion. Yeah, you just pump it over and dump it back over yeah. there and it goes on with its business. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. I, I see that as a, a short term mitigation measure. I, I wouldn't think that that is a long term measure. Mm -hmm. So, because we've been in discussion for an hour and a half, <laughs> a little more, mm -hmm. I would like to know if there's anything that anyone on the panel would like to add. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I also extend this to. Mr. Broom, well, his, he made another statement this, that is now designed and the public in short order will be notified of this solution and the construction phases, so we will look out for that. We welcome that. We welcome yeah, that. Yeah. And I'd like to also thank you for your comments to help clarify and mm -hmm. ensure that we're all on the same page. We really do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to invite the panel to share any other thoughts that they'd like to have on this issue so that we don't make people feel as though we, you know, overkilling the topic mm -hmm. and the public as well. Because we have a lot of, lot of, lot of comments, a lot mm -hmm. of comments. Mm -hmm. Are you on Facebook? No, no my wife yeah. is. And, uh, I think she might be watching. But so you can hijack your wife. And wait, I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> she watches it sure he's here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's here, we can vote for him. <laughs> You're both smart. <laughs> We will try to get to everyone's comments because I know there was a lot going on that we did not get to catch and comment on, but we do appreciate the feedback and we do try to, I know for sure Dwayne does for sure go through the comments and see where we would have missed some of the questions and yeah, we will that. get your feedback on that yeah, as I think well. It, what you're doing is a very, my general comment is that what you're doing is a very good public information program. Mm -hmm. 
Well, we had to. I can't imagine coming home. The few family myths. And seeing sewage in my house, or being mm -hmm. surrounded by sewage, and smelling that for mm -hmm. over a hundred days, and feeling as though no one else in Barbados mm -hmm. cares. Yeah. And I know there are a number of groups that have tried to make mm -hmm. that effort. Mm -hmm. If I can do any part to help mm -hmm. alleviate or bring some clarity as to what's going on, I would want to at least know how mm -hmm. long I have to put up with this, at the mm -hmm. very least. Because mm -hmm. it's your home. And my heart goes out to these people because I, I'm a homeowner myself. I would mm -hmm. want to come home to that. Sure. I won't want to feel as though I'm abandoned or ignored by the rest of the citizens in this country. And I know that the water authority is working hard, but it doesn't help when you have to come home and live in it. So to the persons who are enjoying it, our we heart goes out. I go to you. And I think yeah. that that is kind of like part of where my closing comments, I don't want to take it because it was refreshing to participate in an exercise like this without the kind of thing that I usually would get here, and well, not here, but in other places, in terms of people not looking at the issue, but trying to make it as political as possible and so on. Yeah. When we get advisories, health alerts, travel advisories and so on, it, it doesn't it doesn't affect a particular party or color. It affects Barbados. Yeah. And one of the other things that concern me about Barbados is that if it is not at your doorstep, you're not concerned about it. I think we have to be more empathetic toward our fellow Barbadians and, and fellow humans mm -hmm. in terms of not trying to put yourself in someone's shoes, li almost literally, in terms of coming home, as Crystal said, and having this thing around you, or you own a business, or you're employing a business, mm -hmm. you have to be unemployed because of this. Yeah. So I think that we, we, we got to be more mindful, and it's try to, 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 to lend a hand, even if that is speaking to someone in authority, whether they belong to your party or not, and say, look, this is, this is important. Mm -hmm. So that's my closing comment, how we can all work together on Team Barbados. There'll be a time and a place for the polarization, and I know it's a very short period of time, in terms of, we, we don't have to go through that for a long time. Okay. Yeah, I would just like to add, um, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't need to expand upon what Corey said about Team, team Barbados, because most people that know me, I, the party thing means nothing to me. I, I, like to do, I don't yeah. want to put into a framework of, of which party did what, yeah. what but that's right. not, not, not relevant to me. At the end of the day, we have a, uh, a, a job to do, and we got to fix the problem, and we got to fix the whole of our guys, all 285,000 of us. Mm -hmm. What I would like to do is thank, in particular, before I get to Andrew, I'd like to put, thank Joanne and Peter King yes. for joining in. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very, um, very, con very contentious type uh, topic, you know, every, mm -hmm. you know very sure. com confrontational, very, mm -hmm. you know, and I would like to let Joanne and Peter King know that we're not against you, we're with you. So once you understand that we're here to try to just put out the information and we would encourage any of you from the Ward Authority to come and sit down with us and just explain the solution and, and, and what the issues are. And that's what the purpose of this exercise is. And we appreciate the efforts of the Ward Authority in terms of what they're trying to do to, to mediate the problem. Obviously, if it could have been foreseen and, you know, and the other issues that the other internal issues that go along with it, that's for them to resolve. That's for us as the 285,000 to hold people responsible for issues like that. But at this point in time, to me, it's more important that we find solutions to the problem, leave the blame game out of it yes. at this point in time. You can always go back to that. I have a, a time coming up in a couple of months um, that we can do the blame game at that point in time. But in turn, we have residences and businesses on the South Coast that are affected. We need to offer the Ward Authority all the support that we can give them at this point in time. We need to not come down on them. Um, what, what I've seen in, in the media, I understand that they're working in a very... When I say the media, I don't mean the actual report. I'm talking about the commentators on the, on the comments. We need to give them support. We need to let them know that we're there with you. But in the same token, treat us as part of your team. We yes. are part of your community. The community is Barbados. And Rio, the, the principal tenant of the Rio Car says, participate and engage with your community in environmental matters. And for the likes of me, I would believe this would qualify as an environmental matter of concern. Mm -hmm. So I would say to the Ward Authority, treat us as part of the team. Yeah. Andrew, thank you at very short notice for um, mm -hmm. coming. Um, uh, not often people, you can pick up the phone and call somebody and they're, they're willing to come at such short notice. Corey was notice. even shorter notice. Uh, <laughs> Corey, Corey was even shorter notice. 
But once Crystal calls it, he can come to it. I know that was easy. That was an easy part. The covers of persuasion. Yeah. <laughs> No comment. Uh, 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 thank you very much. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I have always been willing to communicate as a subject I can assist on, you know, mm -hmm. in, in providing information for broader dissemination, broader, you know, people to understand what's going on. Um, I think you, 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 perhaps, you, you, perhaps the worst part about it is why is it taking this long? Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this has been now a, a year plus. Well, no, 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 no. You mean before, even beyond yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. Sixteen months of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that is one. I mean, none of us have hindsight, but you know, if one has asked the question, when this first popped up, why would it take eighteen months uh, mm -hmm. to put your finger on it? Mm -hmm. Principle ten of the real code. <laughs> if we had everybody, if we had every organization in Barbados, statutory corporation or otherwise operating in that manner, we would not have to be asking that question today and the problems and solutions would be a lot more amenable to everyone. Yeah, well, possibly. Well, again, I want to thank everyone that's on the panel. I would like to thank the viewers for your overwhelming love, questions, comments, sharing. We really do appreciate it. And until we have a next <laughs> session, Thank you for tuning in. I'm going to shut off now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Whoa.